Are you thinking about getting a dog? Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you answer the question, should you get a dog? By answering these seven questions, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terror Society YouTube channel. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterrorsociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. Today what I wanna do is help everyone that's on the fence as far as deciding whether or not they should actually get a dog. So this video is for everyone, no matter if you're just looking to get a Boston Terrier, Bull Mastiff, Dalmatian, St. Bernard, whatever type of dog, these seven questions are relevant to every single dog breed. Now, I do have more in-depth questions. I actually have an article in the show notes below where I cover 25 different questions. I thought for this video, I'd make it a little shorter and sweeter and just get to those impactful seven that you're gonna need. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to cover is your income. For a Boston Terrier, I surveyed 50 Boston Terrier owners and they spend on average $85 a month on their Boston. So you're gonna to wanna to do some self-reflection. Are you gonna to wanna to buy more toys than a normal person? Pet insurance can also increase the cost of a dog. Maybe you have to pay for a pet setter. You're gonna to wanna to think of those and create a budget and just a rough budget outline so you know exactly how much your dog's gonna cost you every single month. The second question you should ask yourself is, do you travel? Now, if you travel for work or maybe you go on a lot of vacations throughout the year, you need to figure out what are you gonna be doing with your dog whenever you go on a trip. I've had people message me here on the Boston Terrier Society asking whether or not a Boston can be alone for three, four, even five days a week while they're working. Now, I wouldn't personally recommend that for a dog just because it just seems more complicated. I would just wait till you're more settled in, but that is totally a personal decision and something you're gonna to wanna to reflect on. The third thing you need to ask yourself is, does everyone in the house agree with getting a dog? Whether or not you're married or you're living with somebody, you have roommates, everybody in the house needs to agree because whenever you get a little puppy, while you might think, well, I'm gonna leave it in my room, it's gonna be a loud little puppy. So it's gonna be barking, it's gonna pee different places that you probably don't want it to pee and especially your roommates. So you wanna make sure everybody's on board for you getting a dog. It's just gonna make everything a lot easier. Which leads to question number four, are you prepared for puppyhood? Now having a little puppy is exactly, eh, maybe not exactly, now that I have two kids, I always use that, use that as an example. But either way, it's pretty close to having a little baby because it's gonna be whining, it's gonna need to go out, you're gonna need to figure out what's going on with it. So be prepared for that. There will be some sleepless nights. Question number five, what will you be doing with your dog while you're at work? Because even if you're doing crate training, like Bella here, she whined whenever we left for work, but we didn't know it until one day whenever we came back randomly, because she was always pretty quiet. But you're gonna wanna figure out what am I gonna do with my dog while I'm at work, just so either my neighbors don't go crazy or you're, somebody's letting it out in the middle of the day. Now, question number six is the dog's cost. And this doesn't really reflect on whether or not you should get a dog, but this is gonna help you decide what type of dog am I going to get. For a Boston Terrier here, Around nowadays, you're gonna be spending $1,200 on up for a Boston Terrier. But now if you go to a Boston Terrier rescue, you could spend just $100 for the adoption fees and different paperwork fees. But let's say you choose a breed like a French Bulldog, for example, that's very close. Now, I haven't checked prices, but whenever Emily and I were looking for dogs 10 years ago, whenever we were choosing between a Boston Terrier, we were also looking at French Bulldogs. And what ultimately drove us to the Boston Terriers was literally the price. And that was because we had just gotten out of college and well, we were broke as a joke, trying to pay back our student loans. And question number seven is, does my apartment allow dogs in there? Or does my rental allow dogs in there? And now let's say you own your own home. This is something you're gonna to wanna to look at the homeowners association. Do they, do they exclude certain types of dogs? My question to you is, what question do you think is really important for someone to answer if they're thinking about getting a dog and they're kind of on the fence on whether or not they should? Put it in the comments below because that'll help build this list. And now people coming to this video can then go to the comments section just to get further insight to help them make the best decision possible for them and their family. Now, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers, you can check out a video I created here, 20 Reasons Why Boston Terriers are the Best Dog Breed in America, or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with Boston. All right, Bella.